Fox 6 News. Our big story tonight at 10, a showcase of solidarity. Two high schools faced off in boys basketball. But it's what happened off the court that brought both teams together in a time of crisis for one community. Fox 6's Jeremy Ross with the story now. Two. Thank you. They gather for a game. Okay, how many? Inside the Plymouth High School gym. But before visiting Campbellsport High School scores even one point. We've all shed our tears. They've already suffered a loss. No scoreboard can record. We'll probably continue to shed our tears for a long time. Saturday, nine students attending Campbellsport High were riding in an SUV. Deputies say the driver was going well over the 55 mile per hour speed limit, lost control, and flipped the vehicle with some inside not wearing seat belts. The crash took the lives of three and left six others injured. Did you want to support Ribbon? Yes. In a show of compassion and condolence, <laughs> fans who would normally wear Plymouth colors, black and orange, instead showcase Campbell Sports blue and gold. That means a lot to me. And uh, it's, it's great to see other communities uh, understand that we're a part of a larger community. One of the teens killed was Caitlin Scannell. She was uh, second uh, academically in her class. That's Ryan Scannell's sister. I'm still in shock. He set up a memorial scholarship fund in an effort to continue her spirit of giving. The first contribution was the money Ryan saved to help Caitlin pay for college. I put in $10,000 and I'd like the community to match or exceed that. 50-50. Funds from raffle sales. Policies are going to Campbell Sport. And concessions go towards a fund for the victims. Donate the little bit that you can. There's uh, nothing that's gonna replace the girls. A showcase of sportsmanship and solidarity. We want to support their team. Sheriff's deputies tell us that they'll be wrapping up their crash investigation as early as the end of this week, and they apparently are not recommending charges against the driver at this time. Instead, leaving that decision up to the district attorney's office. In the meantime, if you want more information on that scholarship fund, visit our website. That's fox6now.com. We are live. Jeremy Roth.